Hi everyone, welcome to Classes Touch DIY. I know it's been a long time. I'm very, very sorry, but now we are back. So I'm going to be teaching us how to make this beautiful hairstyle here. So let's just get into the main work, shall we? So I've cut the base, I've already done the base. Okay, so let me just go straight into the measurements of the frame. So I have these two here is the undo. The one we use to tie it as so you cut this immediately after cutting the base okay so 16 inches two times i'll set that aside then the next measurement we are going to be cutting is this small one here okay which is um 13 inches so initially i cut 14 inches so i stitch both ends so it's reduced to 13 inches okay then the next measurement we'll be needing for this towel is this one here this long one okay so so we have 37 there so initially i cut 38 so i stitch just one end okay so just stitch one end and leave the other one like that then the next measurement we need is this one i'm going to be measuring out okay can you see the way i join this i join it the way we joined for our normal round plate or together okay so i'm just going to be taking the measurements so the first step is 23 inches okay the first step is 23 inches while the second step is 27 inches so you just join it like that can you see the way it is just join it together like that all right so the last one we need for this time is three i cut it in three places I join it together, stitch one side of it, okay? So I'm just going to be taking the measurement for us. So for this style, you can decide to increase the height, okay? If you are increasing the height, definitely your measurement is going to increase, okay? That is, this one here can be four, it can be five. While the previous one that we joined together um, in that um, like normal round place can be three or four. So let's just get into the main work now. So after setting your base on your dummy, the next one you're going to be picking is this two, the one we join like a normal round plate together, okay? You fold it together like this to get the middle and make sure that that middle aligns with, with the middle of your dummy as usual. So I'm just going to fold it in like that and I'll be using my pin to hold it down. So you just take it all the way to the sides like that. Alright, so I've done that now with my pin. Then the next thing is just to take your needle and thread and tack it down. So if you don't know how to do this, please, you have to watch the previous video on how to make a normal round plate or together so you know how to tack this particular point, okay? So, alright, so I've already done that now. I've tacked it and I didn't cut up the thread. So the next thing now is to pleat everything. You are going to be pleating out everything we have here. So I'll come back to show you the next thing. All right, guys, so I've pleated out everything now. So I'm going to set this one aside. So the next one we need now is this three that we join together, okay? So now it depends on where you want your your pleats to be. It can be on the right or on, your, or on the left, but mine is coming from the left, okay? So you're just going to align it on top of the previous piece that you have, and you will use your pin to hold it down like so so you take it all the way to the middle all the way to the middle like that so i noticed that this was too long and i want it to be somewhere just a little bit away from the middle so i'm going to shift it to the back can you see i just shift it to the back a bit okay so and i'll take it all the way like that so if you want to do this exact measurements you might want to reduce um the the length of this three this the three joint together let's say by two inches so just by two inches but if you want to increase the pleats underneath then you can just work with this measurement okay so but if you, are, if you want to do this exact height just reduce it by two inches so i'm going to put everything all right guys so i just i just noticed that this one is a style on its own okay you can just leave it like this and tack it together like that then you just do a small rose to cover up this side okay this is one style on its own but that is not why we are here today so 
I'm just going to bring everything down like that. And if you notice that the edge is not on top of this or uh, of each other, it's slightly slanted, okay, like that. So you don't want it to be on top of each other like that. Just slant it a little bit. Can you see the way it is? Can you see the way the edge is? It's slant. So it's not on top of each other like that, okay? So the reason why we do it this way is so that you allow the, the fan that is coming from the other side to lay very well on it, okay? So I'm be using my pin or needle, whatever you have, to hold it down like that, okay? So you can use as many pins as you want. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is just tack together. I know my gurus in the house already know how we tack here. Okay, you tack in a neat way, my sister. Don't tack in such a way that the thread will be showing all over the place. Yes, your customer know that it is thread you use to tack it, but please try to tack in a neat way. Make sure it's very neat. Make sure threads your thread are not all over the place. Okay, so just continue tacking the previous pleats with the new pleats that you have on top of it. And if you just happen to stop with this video, I welcome you to my channel. Here, we learn how to make different styles of autogene. Okay, different style, just name it. And there are some other things coming up. Okay, we are still working on that. So, feel free to share this video with your loved ones. Please comment, like. And if you are just joining us, please subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, share. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'll just continue like that, passing it underneath the piece of the base. Okay. So as to hide our thread. So I'll just, from that underneath, I'll take it up like that. And you notice that as my needle is coming out, it's coming out from the back and not from the front. The reason is you don't want it to be obvious that you tack at that point. Because if you make it come out from the point, it's going to press that point down and it will be so so obvious that you tack at that point and it's going to deface your autogele trust me your autogele is not going to be standing very well one side will be going inside right another side will be coming up so uh, we don't want that for our style okay so you just continue like that continue tacking 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 following that method to get to that point so i'm going to set this aside and work with this last one this last one we are going to form a fan pleat with it and we are starting from that side that we stitch okay so i believe we all know how to form a fan plate right now but if you don't please kindly check through our previous video on how to make a fan plate okay so i'll just continue like that continue like that continue pleating till i get to the end okay just normal fan plates just continue like that. Can you see? I'll be using my pin to hold it down very well. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm done placing the fan, and this is what it looks like. So now we are going to set it on top of the pleats. Just look at the way I bent the edge there, and I'll place it on it like that. So can you see? So the fan now is sitting. On the plate okay so you need your pins here you can use as many pins as you want to hold it down so just make sure it is well laid on top of the plate before you start stacking make sure it is well laid okay so use my pin to hold it down together like that you hold it down like that Okay, hold it down like that. So I'll just continue my tacking from there. You know, I didn't cut it off. I just stopped the tacking there. So I'll just continue from there. Okay. Like I always say, there is no rigid rule about tacking. Okay. If you are the type that you tack the first one, not this, cut off the thread and start tacking the or uh, the uh, the second one. It is fine. Just make sure that you tack in a neat way and your tacking doesn't alter the style that you've created, okay? So I just continue tacking like that. And if you notice that my needle is coming out from the back and this one that is showing here, just look for a way to push it inside, inside one of the plates like that and you pass your needle through it so as to hold it together, okay? Can you see? So that way, as I shook like that, it don't hold it together. So just go inside like that. 
And just keep on talking. Just keep on talking you talk. And don't forget, as I'm going up and down, I'm also tacking everything, going inside everything, coming out from the plate of the base, okay? So since the first plate of the, uh, of the frame has been tacked to the base, so that's why you can tack the frame to, uh, like two, three times before you now go down into everything again. So at this point now, I'm going down into everything. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm going down into everything so that it will come out from the plate of the base. So it will look as if one side, the, the frame is um different from the it's standing different from the from the base so everything will be joined together so my thread there is short so i need to thread another needle but before i do that so this is our kokolo our last one here and this one is going to be used to form a small rose just look at the way i'm going to form the rose at first you try to create a pleat like three or four pleats is enough okay Three or four plates like that then after that can you see i have four plates you can start to create three then i bend it and just show you and either do it this way round it round it like oh you bend so i start to bend like that then i roll it roll it like this just to form a rose there are different types of rose my sister just form rows rows that you say you know say ah if they use this rose proposed to you, now yes, automatic yes. Don't go and do a little sure rose. So. <laughs> so just do a nice rose share. So that's the way I do my rose. I just want to repeat it so you get it. So I slant it like that and I roll it. I roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. I roll it like that. I roll it. So just make sure that it's conforming to what you want it to, you know, what, what you want it to be. All right, so it's out like that. Then you can just use your pin to hold it down. Use your pin to hold it down. See that tray that is straying here? That tray is stubborn. Later, I'm going to use scissors to cut it off. Just ignore the tray there. Ignore it. It's stubborn. All right, so I'm just using my pin. To hold it down like that before taking it to our gilly. So, and the reason why we need this rose is just to cover up that place that we have slanted edge. Okay, so we don't want to leave it like, like that. It's not nice like that. So that's why uh, the essence of creating a rose here, making a rose to just close that side. So, depending on how you want it, you can leave the edge like this. You can decide to bend it. Make it look like a round rose, and if I decide to just place it anywhere you want it to be, just make sure that it's covering the edge there. Can you see it's covering the edge? And I'm going to tack it together like that. So just tack, 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 tack in a neat way. So you just tack it together like that to the base. Okay, so I don't want to waste our data, <laughs> I don't want to waste our data, so that's why I decided to just. Fast forward this um this part a little bit so I joined another tray to that point and I just looking for a way to tag the rows to the body of our our auto gilly like that. So just keep on going back and forth, back and forth like that. Just tag in a little bit. This trade this time around it was very, very long, so I find it um a little bit um hard to pull through, you know. At some points, everything will just tangle together and, and I will have to uh, arrange it again. So, alright, so you just tack, tack, tack like that. So, once you are okay with the the rules being tacked to the body, and you just continue tacking your fan to the pleat like that. So, I just continue tacking my fan to the pleat. So, from then on, I'm going down, 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 like I want to join everything together going down and coming out from the pleat of the base okay underneath the pleat like that let me see so this plier is very very important so if you don't have a plier please go and get one so that plier it helps a lot in pulling out the needle in a place where it's very hard to do so with just your hand okay so i'll just continue from underneath there you just insert through 
the pleats all the way up to that point where you have your your fan pleats pinned down like that okay so just go up like that so since i've tagged everything to the to the base so i can just go ahead and just tag the the fan plate alone to the plate so i can do that like three times before i go down again okay that's exactly what i'm doing here so if you look at me here sorry about that sorry about that that's my baby <laughs> see that girl huh? she'll still be the one making this video for you people so can you see i've done that i just do like three more then at this point i had to go down again so i've gotten to the edge there so i just go down so as to tack everything together to the base okay so i just stack it down like that then i go up again so the reason why i'm going up again is just to hold it down you know that edge is very important you need to tack that edge very well because as they are tying it's going to affect the the most of the pressure is on the edge so you don't want it to cut when they are tying so <coughs> sorry about that so just go in like that okay so at this point now you want to remove the pins and give it the final touch you know i will finish our fan pits at the the edge okay so, and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing here just give it a final touch like that slant it very well so so that to come out so can you see right. so as it's going downwards it's getting smaller can you see so i'm just going to pass my needle and tack everything together okay so at this point i'll tack everything together See the way it is now okay so i'll just stack it together like that so i want to first stack this first plate and i want to make sure that it's not coming out from the from um the the other side okay so this time around i make sure it's come out from the front and the reason why i did this is just to hold that place down okay so i just want to hold it down but make sure you don't pull too tight so it won't be that, that obvious and make sure that your needle have your your thread are very close to each other that way it's going to hide it a little bit so from here now i'm just going into all the plates tack it together okay then go down to hold everything together like that then you go up again go up again so then at this point, I'm going to be cutting off the SX, fix the undo. I will do the same thing for the other side too. And I'll come back to show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment for me, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.